<laughs> the challenge is limiting me to, to a, a couple. I, I, so many examples in so many ways. Um, so I'll give just a couple. Uh, one of the more commonly used drugs still, and probably one of the most dangerous in terms of, of drug-drug interactions and diet-drug interactions and herb-drug interactions is with Coumadin. Even though we have new drugs, that is still a very commonly used agent. And it is so easy for patients in a siloed, fragmented system to get care that can impact um, and increase their risk of, of bleeding and dying. So to have uh, in our office, we have that clinic run by our, our pharmacists and pharmacy students so we have a standard approach, a clear approach to addressing it, and that has on many occasions identified a dangerous drug-drug interaction, has identified a patient's lack of understanding of this powerful drug. So that's one way that helps immediately. Um, another, uh, another way is patients coming out of the hospital because we have in our office a, a, a transitions clinic of folks who are leaving the hospital who then come into our office and long before I see them this patient is seeing a team of our, our pharmacist, our social worker, uh, we have a psychologist, we're able to get all the information together to truly review and see what medications this patient is on after hospitalization. That is a very common time where things are changed and it's hard to figure out what's going on. And the third example I'll give is we actually do home visits, which is not common, but should be, because the only way to really, if you want to be patient-centered, you have to involve the patient, and you have to know where they are in their situation. And so when our pharmacists go out leading medical students to explore, we have our med list, we have the list from the pharmacy, and then you find out what the patient has in their cabinet. And that's the only time you can really start to pull it together. And that is another way of helping patients avoid one of the most common causes of, of uh, morbidity and, and uh, hospitalization, which are, are from drug effects.